final. One of the women's 100 meters backstroke, Esna. Deceptive. We knew that some people were just keeping a little bit in reserve, but going out pretty fast. Naraya Marquez Soto looks like she's going to be first to the turn, and Hannah Aston has got her work cut out to try and catch back that deficit. It is Naraya Marquez Soto in first, Aston in second, Conkley in third, young Hungarian. Yeah, and Naraya Marquez Soto really controlling this race down, well, down the first 50 meters now. And the great thing about backstroke is once you're in the lead, you can see your competitors and you can control that race, which is exactly what the Spanish lady is doing here. Well, they're coming now to the last 15. I think it is going to be a great victory here for Noraya Marquez Soto. Are we going to have a very fast time here? The championship record is 108.67. It's just slipped by, but it is gold to Noraya Marquez Soto in 109.88. A convincing win in the end. Anna Aston in second in 114.99 and it is Sofia Conkley winning the bronze medal for Hungary but a good dominating swim there from the Ryan Marcus Soto she took it out fast was never in doubt really as they came into that second round. You no know, she gave herself a great advantage off the wall off the start down that first 50 meters as she went into that turn as soon as she pushed off really first 10 meters that second 50 meters the race was hers to lose and thankfully for her she did not there we go we see all pretty evenly away at the start but just such a balanced stroke uses those arms great shoulder roll and really spotted the finish into the finish nicely and she had a comfortable win in the end scoreboard about 50 meters away straining her eyes to see it the Raya Marquez Soto is the champion from Spain. Hannah Aston from the USA in the silver medal position. And Sofia Conkley from Hungary is the bronze medal. See on the caption there, hashtag para swimming is our Twitter handle. So if you do want to tweet us any questions for Liz, the knowledge Johnson, you can pick it up. You're all over Twitter. Well, providing the Wi-Fi continues <laughs> to work. It is a bit patchy up here in the gods. The next event coming on is the men's 100 freestyle final. There is Moises Fuentes Garcia, great Colombian stroke star. Bo Tang Tung from Vietnam, bronze medalist in the 50 freestyle last world championship. What can you say about this man, ladies? Daniel Diaz, Brazilian's top Paralympic medalist of all time. They're on a net relative just to explain how good Daniel Diaz is. That young man's not too bad too, Theo Curin. He's come through the ranks, the Frenchman, he's won very well in the last couple of years. Just missing out on the medals. Should be a chance today. Now Roglu from Turkey goes in line six. And one of the independent Paralympic participants is Mohamed Abbas Karimi. There's two independent Paralympic participants here. And uh, Karimi is one of them. Daniel Diaz, though, he is the world record holder in this one. He has a phenomenal record over the last 10 or 11 years. He has dominated the world titles in that time. Daniel Diaz in lane four from Brazil. So four straight world titles for Daniel Diaz in this one. Can he make it at Berlin? I'm going to go with I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to go with yes. <laughs> you heard it here first from Liz Johnson. Well, 
final of the men's 100 freestyle S1 to S5. Centre lane, Daniel Diaz and Theo Curin. Diaz away very fast. Yeah, and a great start there in lane seven from Mohamed Abbas Khadimi, who is the independent swimmer. But now that we up and into the strokes, Daniel Diaz is away, already powering away down the field. Such a high stroke rate, such great control from his core. You can see how he uses his hips, because he doesn't actually have a full limb. He has a spectacular success in uh, his home Paralympic Games in Rio. He's very much the poster boy for those games. He has 30 World Championship medals over the years. Phenomenal record, and it looks like he's going to add another gold here. Daniel Diaz with a very convincing lead. Yeah, he's got a great reputation, a great work ethic, and often the pressure is on him, and it definitely was in Rio in 2016. He was the only Paralympic gold medalist in the swimming pool for Brazil. But yes, he absolutely delivered, and it's Fury comes into this final 15 metres looking to deliver again. Well, it looks like odds on that Daniel Diaz is going to take this one into the last six or seven metres. It's going to be another World Championship gold medal for Daniel Diaz of Brazil in 110.58. Very decent time here and a good battle for second. It looks like it is going to be Theo Curran from France who will get that one ahead of Black Tang Tongbo from Vietnam. Good tussle between those two, but Daniel Diaz quite pleased with that time there. 110 is not a bad time at all for Daniel Diaz. World record stands at 108. And Daniel Diaz was just a couple of seconds outside that. And a very happy Theo Curin winning his first world championship medal. Absolutely, the great embrace for the two. Theo Curin will take a lot from racing Daniel Diaz. When he's when you're racing for Ken Penetra, who's that good, you, you respect them, but you learn so much from them. And they have a similar diving technique, even though Daniel has a has a slightly longer leg with a foot, but they took up a similar position on the block, and Theo Kuren will be watching Daniel Diaz all the time learning, and he's really taken this opportunity. The gold medal there, never really in doubt, but Theo Kuren had an opportunity to get a first major championship medal, and he'll be over the moon that that's actually happened. Daniel Diaz takes another world championship goal. Theo Curran from France, the silver. And it's bronze to Vietnam, Tan Tungo. Yeah, the young French swimmers have started well today. Two medals in the back in those first couple of events there for the guys. Yeah, the future. Absolutely. A lot of youngsters coming through at this championships as well. The Italians have been very strong as well. They've got a very strong squad. <laughs> Mexican crowd waiting for the first Mexican swimmer to come along. They'll have another few events before that happens. They are out in force though. So we can expect some noise. Very good. Zhu Jian. Nice to hear. Zhu Jian in from lane two. China. Andrei. Goes in lane Fini number one. Ilis. He's got some strong swimmers here. He is from Greek. Brazil. Qualified Joana in Maria second Silva. position. In lane four. Joana. Maria Silva. Sara Luis Rune. Qualifying in, lane in third position, but Sarah Louis Strong was the fastest qualifier. Looked pretty smooth in, lane six, in the heats today, Spain, as did Imbal Pizarro. She finished very well, Imbal Pizarro. She has been a gold medalist in this event in, in 2010. Seven, Teresa Perales, the world record holder, in lane number six. In lane eight. Representing people David Sadler from Kazakhstan goes in lane number seven. And the second Chinese swimmer goes in the outside lane in lane number eight. Just qualifying for the final was Zhang Li. But she was the Paralympic champion last year in Rio. So we we'll see a surprise from the outside lane. She didn't look that great in the heats and she did cut it very, very fine to qualify for the final. Lane, you got a chance for 
be in it to win it. Two Chinese swimmers on the outside lanes. Three or four swimmers who have swum against each other for a number of years now. In the centre lanes. A range of starts here. This is the final of the women's 100 freestyle S5. There we see the incredibly experienced Teresa Paradis using that sit start to get up and into her race. But Joanna Silva, who's the World Championships 50 meter defending champion, taking it out as we always see her do. Very, very close indeed. Just about edging it there. As they come into the turn, is it Sierra Louise Dong? Very, very close indeed. Teresa Morales getting the tap four to dead instead of just minutes. Teresa Morales and Sierra Louise Dong, well, they had a dead heat in the European Championships last year in this event, and it's very, very close between the two old rivals now. Sarah Louise Strong and Teresa Perales look like they have got the edge over the rest of this field. The Paralympic champion just left battling for third position in Valpizarro. We know that she will finish strongly, but she's not going to catch the top two now. It's Teresa Perales and Sarah Louise Wrong. They're stroke for stroke coming into the last five here. It's very close, but it looks like Wrong will take it in 122.65. But a great swim there from Sarah Louise Wrong. The race at Perales gave everything she had there. 123.29 for second. And in Balpazaro did finish strongly in third position for 126.46. That was That was such an exciting race. And it would be even more exciting if they were next to each other in the lanes, but it made it harder to call. We saw it was a pretty evenly matched race in the They'd be good at synchronized swimming, these two. I thought we were all for another dead heat there. They got a dead heat in the Europeans last year. 121.97, and it was pretty close between those two. With Sarah Louise Rong just having the stretch at the end, and just the stretch for Imbal Pizarro to knock the Paralympic champion into fourth position. Final result, Sarah Louise Wrong takes the gold for Norway. Teresa Perales, the silver for Spain, and Imbal Pizarro, the bronze for Israel. <laughs>